This place is a mess. In 2017, I have bought 200 boxes full of old vintage electronic parts for only 5 euro each. Now, in 2019, I have my first look at the contents. I will upload one box video every day. I hope you enjoy. Hi and welcome back. If you have seen the last episode, you know what was inside here. If you haven't seen it, well, you have missed a lot. Yeah, here is the next box. Oh. Wow. Here's a microwave diode. We have... What is it? Can we access this here? Hmm. What the... No! I'm an idiot! What's that? I have absolutely no idea. Sorry for shaking. Oh. Crazy stuff. Just in case I can't find anything in the internet about this thing here. If you know what it is, please let us know. This box is just crazy. Here are DDK oscillators probably. I don't know what it is. RF transistors, most likely transistors. Wow, this is beautiful. This is used, but the other ones are new. Beautiful. Look at that. This is beautifully built. I love this type of stuff. This is absolutely crazy. I mean, there's so much stuff in here. Uh, and mainly high frequency stuff. If I show every single part, uh, this will take hours and you will be completely bored. At least you guys that are not interested in RF parts. So I will keep this uh, as short as possible and I hope uh, you still like this episode. What's in here? What's that? Resistors, come on! Coils, diodes, high frequency diodes. And they are probably marked as 40 here. They failed. Lack. Ausfall. They had a leakage of some sort. Filters. ICs. What the hell? These parts are soldered out. Come on. Oh, microwave part. But there is no data sheet. And we don't know what it is. So I will unpack it. For you. And it's this wonderful part here. It's a Varactor. Beautifully built. Gold plated. High speed CMOS counter. And that's what it is. Okay, here are the most interesting parts for you. Here are extremely little parts. I don't know if you can see them. 
but they are crazy crazy tiny here too more parts well I guess more diodes or these obscure little things and more and more crazy what's that why Look at that! Why would someone do that? Sensor technology! What's that? There are tons of these! Well, there's nothing written on it on both sides. Chips! Well... More chips! Well, I have really no idea what it is. It's crazy. Okay, I have to hurry up. What's that? Tantalum caps? Well, I see and other parts. More chips. Oh, what's that? Ah, it's a non volatile ram, I guess. Yes. Yeah, that's it for the today's episode. I have to go to the next box and this will be kind of interesting, I guess. Thanks for watching. Big thanks for your support. I really need any type of support. If it's a thumbs up or if, it, uh, if it's your help on Patreon. Well, I can really need any help. So, thanks a lot and see you again soon. Bye. A little bonus for you. Here's a box uh, which I got one or two years ago and we will have a look inside right now. I have no idea what's inside. Let's see! Capacitors! Great! Wow! And they are large. Epcos! 20 mics! 1100 volts! Crazy stuff! It has a rather high Q factor and it's a great capacitor. Look at the internal resistance at 1 kHz, hence the high Q factor. Great! Oh, This is one of the worst boxes I have ever seen. This place is a mess. It's embarrassing. Oh wow! I have no idea what's inside. Probably a Tektronix scope, but we won't know unless we open it up because it is very well packed and you can't really see it before you open it up. Oh, 
it's a Dectronic Scope, surprise! At least the faceplate is uh, packed up protected. Nice. It's an old 564. Great. The CRT isn't cracked. Wow. Unbelievable. Does it still have the tubes in place? We will find out. Oh. Yes. Uh, this one is not from the plugin. Anyway, at least it's not robbed. If you have seen my older videos, most of the times the tubes are missing because they are uh, valuable. So people uh, remove them and sell the unit untested. But not this one. Hey! All tubes in place. Fine. But I can't power it up right now because obviously there are some tubes flying around inside. There was no cushing material on the bottom. You can see where the feet were located. Yeah, this is this was packed up disappointing with a very poor cardboard. But anyway. Next one, obviously from the same seller. <laughs> 